in this tutorial we will learn line command so here is the line command so line command you can give in two ways by clicking here or you can also type L and press enter so both way you can give the line command or a, in fact any command you can give in two ways from keyboard or by clicking on the icon so I will take line L enter then specify first point so from which point you want to start click there suppose I want to start from here so click first mouse button and take your cursor away and if I want this line to be straight here you can see that the polar tracking is on so it is automatically coming straight and if you don't want to go in the angle and if you want it straight whenever you take it anywhere then you can make the ortho on for that to force if you want to force it to be straight only then you have to make the ortho on so from here you can make the ortho mode on or F8 is the shortcut key for keyboard if if you want to make it on from keyboard you can press F8 also so click here and then give the direction where you want to go suppose I want to go in this direction then type the length how much length you want suppose I want it to be 100 then press enter then take your cursor above suppose I want to go above again give the length suppose I want it to be 50 press enter then I want to go on the left side again give the length 100 enter if during drawing the line command or creating line command if you make some mistake and if you want to cancel the last line command then you can click on this undo click on this undo button so your last line will be cancelled or you can also give you enter suppose again I will give the length enter then if you want to connect this this point and this point that means last point and the first point then you can click on this close or you can also give C enter for that click on this close so the line will be created automatically joining the last point and the first point and your line command will be completed and here you can view that this command line is empty that means your command is completed nothing is running and if you want to remove this object you can use the erase command just click on the erase and you can click at the empty space and create the window crossing window and click second point and press enter so all the objects will be erased or you can also individually click on them if I undo it or if you want you can also individually click on them and that red X is showing that it will be removed that means we it will be deleted and press enter so those object will be erased then suppose I want to create a line in some angle specified angle then again I will take the line command give the first point then to make it inclined you have to make this ortho mode off so click on that so for Inclined line you will have to give the length and the angle so for length I will give suppose 50 then for angle you have to press tab button on the keyboard and give the angle so angle how you have to specify the angle so x will be 0 degree y will be 90 degree and minus x will be 180 degree so in that way you will have to specify the angle suppose if I want to go in between here so I will have to specify 30 degree then here 60 degree 90 degree 120 150 so in this way you will have to specify the angle and same is the case below also if I want to go below here also I will have to space 30 degree then 90 degree 120 150 so on the both sides you will have to specify the 0 to 180 degree angle so on the both side angle will be same then your line will be drawn on the side on which side your cursor is on that side your line will be drawn suppose uh, from here I want to create a line of 30 degrees so I will give it 30 press enter so a line of 30 degrees is created so from here I want to go on this side again give the length then press tab button 
then suppose from this 90 I want to go ahead by 30 degree on left side so I will have to specify the angle from x, x axis so the total angle will be 90 plus 30 that is 120 degree press enter if I go down it will automatically measure from the in the mod, uh, bottom area down area so here also I will uh, specify the length then press tab then angle suppose from this y axis I want to come down by 30 degree and the total angle is 180 degree so the angle I will have to specify from x axis so that will be 180 minus 30 degree that is 150 degree press enter and to connect you can click on this close button so it will be connected and if you don't want this xy, XY axis in between when you are working so for that you will have to give UCS UCS I command UCS icon press enter and click on this no origin so it will remain on the left side it will not come in between so we can erase it take the crossing window and remove it so this highlighted area is the new feature of AutoCAD 2015 so it will highlight in blue color which objects has been selected so previously it was showing in dotted line actually hidden line now it is highlighting press enter to come out suppose I have one line here I make make it straight by pressing F8 button on keyboard you can draw a line with free hand also without giving any length or taking the length whatever length it he is showing you press enter again enter you can repeat the command by pressing enter button give the first point second point enter to come out you can also press spacebar as a for enter so, so in AutoCAD spacebar also work as a enter button so suppose I want to create one line from endpoint of this cursor so if you take your cursor there it will show you endpoint automatically so this endpoint is called as object snap so it helps you in creating the object accurately so for this object snaps to work properly you will have to keep this object snap on actually so here it is on right now if you click on it it will become off object snap off then it will not show you the any object snap so you, if at your end it is not showing then you you will have to make it on so click on it or you can also press the F3 button on the keyboard so from endpoint it will create it accurately from it again I will press F8 to make the object snap off again here endpoint if you take your cursor if you want the midpoint it is not showing the midpoint so you in two ways you can do it you can directly hold the shift button and right click and from here you can choose the midpoint object snap so if you want the midpoint second time you will have to do the same way suppose I will click here and if I take my cursor there it will show the midpoint this is the one way other way is automatic suppose I will undo to show the midpoint automatically you will have to click on this arrow after the object snap button and then click on this midpoint so it will ex uh, it will consider it for automatic selection so now if I take my cursor there it will automatically show the midpoint again endpoint endpoint now here it is showing me midpoint but I don't want to connect it to midpoint but I want this line to be perpendicular to this line so if it is showing object snap which is not required by us if we want perpendicular he is showing midpoint then you can choose the different object snap by shift plus right click hold the shift button and right click and from here you can choose the perpendicular and click on the line and same way if you want perpendicular again and again then you can from here you can click on perpendicular so it will also come automatically here it is showing the perpendicular automatically if you want to come come out of the line command without using close button then you just have to press enter button so you can come out by pressing the enter button from line command so whatever we have learned up till now based on that we will create one 
object so suppose we want to create this object so we will take the limit at first we will have to give the limit command so the limit for this drawing will be 30 20 25 75 so 100 by 100 will be the limit for this drawing so at first we will start new drawing so click on this new tab and click on this start drawing then give the limits command for that give lim enter then lower left corner will be 0 comma 0 enter then upper right corner will be 100 comma 100 then press enter again then give zoom all z enter a enter to apply the limits then take the line command give the first point now i want the line to be straight so i will make the ortho mode on then give the length of the line so length is 75 enter then take your cursor up then next length will be 20 15 30 is 65 again take your cursor up give the length of 65 then on the left side length is 25 and 30 so again we will take it on the left side and we will give length of 25 enter take it down give the height of 30 enter then 20 15 30 20 then 20 then 15 take your cursor on that side then 30 and you can use the close button so in this way this object is created so to create the next object with suppose angle line i want to create this object with angle line so for this again i will have to de decide the limit so i will 30 20 30 20 30 19 40 140 suppose i will take it 180 180 so again i will start new drawing new tab start drawing limits enter 0 comma 0 enter then 180 comma 180 enter then zoom all z enter a enter then take the line command give the first point suppose i will you can start from any point suppose i will start from this point or i will start from this point so at first i will have to create a line inclined line so i will take line command give the first point then at first i will have to give the length length is 30 then tab then angle from x axis i will have to specify the angle so in this case if uh, this line i am creating so if i create one horizontal line that will be the x axis so the angle will be half of this so 30 degree so i will give the 30 enter then make ortho on give the 20 again go on right 20 again make ortho off again length is 30 tab angle now from here i will have to specify the angle so from this horizontal line i will have to specify this angle so i know from this vertical line this horizontal line 30 degree that means from this vertical line it will be 30 degree that means the total is 90 degree that means this angle will be 60 degree so i will give here 60 enter again length 30 tab so this angle will be again this will be 60 degree again because the angle between these two line is 60 that means from vertical it is 30 so it will be 60 again make ortho on give the length give the length again ortho off so again length tab so from x axis angle will be 30 degree again take on this side length is 30 tab angle again the angle between these two line is 60 degree so from horizontal line it will be 30 that means the remaining will be 150 degree so i will give here 150 again ortho on so take it up 20 length again on this side 20 again ortho off again length 30 tab angle again angle i will have to specify this horizontal line so it will be from this horizontal line i need the angle 
so from this vertical we know it is 30 so that means 90 plus 30 is 120 degree so we'll give the angle of 120 again on this side length 30 tab angle will be again 30 plus 90 plus 30 will be 120 degree again you can use this tracking also so you can give length 20 again make ortho on length of 20 and then close it here so in this way this object is also created so thank you we will stop here